My name is Mike Kenman. I'm the dean here at Christ Church Cathedral, and my essential Bible passage is Philippians 2, 1 through 11. If there is any encouragement in Christ, any consolation from love, any sharing in the Spirit, any compassion and sympathy, make my joy complete. Be of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross." Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. This passage is called the Christ Hymn, and it's the earliest Christian hymn that we have. It really shouldn't be read as much as it should be sung, and it's a song about passion. And at the heart of the song is the word empty. Christ, though he was in the form of God, didn't see that as something to be grasped or exploited, but emptied himself. This is the same mind Paul asks us to have in us, the mind of not grabbing and holding on to what we have, not doing things out of selfish ambition or conceit, but being like Christ and emptying ourselves for love of the world. There is nothing greater than finding something we love so much, something that gives us deep joy and meaning so that we just want to empty ourselves into it. Now, let me be clear, emptying our lives is not the same as having the life sucked out of it. In fact, it's the opposite. We've all been in those places. Maybe it's a job, maybe it's a relationship, maybe it's a task that is just life-sucking and soul-sucking. That is never God's dream for us. But God's dream for us is to be like God in Christ and to find that which we love so much that our greatest joy is to give ourselves to it, to empty ourselves. This is what Martin Luther King was talking about when he said, if someone has not found something worth dying for, they are not fit to live. This passage is essential for me because it reminds me whenever I'm tempted to hold back in fear, whenever I'm worried there isn't enough of me to go around or I try to build and acquire for myself, that the best thing ever is to find something I love and to empty myself, to give myself as a servant to it. I've been blessed by so many things in my life I love so much and want to empty myself into. My family, my friends, our cathedral community, and the presence of Jesus Christ it provides downtown. The amazing women in the circle of Magdalene who are recovering from lives of extreme trauma, violence, addiction, and sexual abuse who teach me every day how much love heals. What is it for you? What is it for us? How can we have the same mind that is in Christ Jesus? What is it that is worth dying for so that we are fit to live? Where can we empty ourselves and know the deepest joy?